Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vinay Rajan Kalagadi, Consultant Orthopedic Spine and Joint Replacement Surgeon. Today I am going to brief you certain uh, uh, issues regarding the spine. The most commonly misinterpreted uh, spine disease called as spondylosis. So often we see many patients coming to our OPDs with the, their own construed diagnosis saying that AMSAR is suffering from spondylosis. So I am here to clear certain doubts regarding the same disease here. Spondylosis, as we understand, is not a disease per se. It's a natural phenomena that happens to each and every individual. It is a degenerative disease of the spine, which happens uh, like in all other joints, and it's just like aging. So like how we see like skin follicles and uh, joints wearing off, it is in the same way the same changes happening in the spine. So uh, more than a disease, the spondylosis corresponds to aging of the spine. So who is uh, more uh, at high risk to suffer spondylosis? There is nothing like uh, a certain person ages or certain person doesn't age. It is a natural course. So spondylosis is going to happen to each and every person. Uh, only certain sect of people or certain percentage of people will ultimately end up with diseases, uh, uh, complications associated with the spondylosis. Those kind of patients will come with certain symptoms. So generally we see spondylosis in the age group more than 40 years with the high, uh, high strenuous activities or labored class of people. Uh, those kind of people usually end up with degenerative uh, changes in the spine. How is spondylosis treated? So basically, spondylosis is not a disease to be treated. It is a natural course that is happening, so it doesn't require any treatment. It is just what is required is reassurance, rehabilitation and review. So reassurance in the sense, patient needs to be uh, made to understand that spondylosis is not a disease. It is a degenerative changes that are taking place in the spine, the discs and the facet joints and certain stru uh, supportive structures of the spine like the ligaments. So these degenerative changes, like how we have a worn out uh, joint causes pain, stiffness, restricted movements. In the same way, the person with spondylosis will start having stiffness in the back, pain and uh, uh, restricted movements. These patients often complain of continuous gradual onset and uh, progressive pain, unlike acute pain or uh, pain related to other spine issues like disc or spondylolysis. So this pain is not going to be uh, relieved as such uh, since it's a ongoing process, uh, just like aging. So another doubt is patients often ask if we can avoid getting spondylosis. So it is just like asking, uh, can we avoid getting old? No, it cannot be. But certain uh, uh, lifestyle modifications can uh, maintain a good health in the spine, like back extension exercises and core strengthening exercises, which help prevent a stiffness, which help prevent uh, uh, restricted movements, and in the same uh, way, it helps in improving the strength of the back muscles, thereby uh, providing strength to uh, conduct all our activities without any pain. So often there are other uh, uh, similar terminologies which patients come up with when they go in uh, for Google searches or anything with the terminology called as spondylosis. Often they are uh, coming up with uh, terminologies like spondylitis, spondylolysthesis, spondyloptosis, which patients uh, start relating to their conditions and uh, often get terrified. Uh, for example, spondylitis differs with spondylosis. Spondylosis is nothing but a degenerative uh, disease of the spine, whereas spondylitis is an inflammatory condition of the spine, usually the most common being ankylosing spondylitis, the others being uh, spondylitis associated with rheumatoid uh, arthritis and other uh, inflammatory uh, spondyloarthropathies. So coming to the complications of spondylosis, as such, aging doesn't have complications. It has its own uh, adverse uh, problems. When there is spondylosis, there is deposition of extra bone. As there is loss of resorption, there are osteophytes developing uh, both on the anterior and posterior elements of the spine. So this uh, extra deposition of bone can definitely compromise the outlets of the nerves 
or the spinal cord space itself where is it is called as uh, lumbar canal stenosis or cervical canal stenosis so this compression on the uh, spinal cord or the nerve roots secondary to the extra deposition of the uh, uh, osteophytes will lead to complications and uh, weakness or uh, loss of sensations distally and uh, patients often come with uh, difficulty in walking certain distances uh, continuous pain radiating pain and these are the patients who require evaluation and treatment often spondylosis doesn't require any treatment but whenever there is complications associated whenever there is a compression in the spinal cord or the nerve roots secondary to stenosis such patients definitely require surgical intervention to relieve the compression on the spinal cord or the nerve roots